Hey, I'm Bruce Clement with BC Audio. I'm here at the LA Amp Show, and uh, I've got my uh, newly revamped amplifier number 10, Mark II. This amp is a 50 watt EL34 based amp. It has two EL34s in the output section um, and four 6L7s in the preamp section. Those 6L7s are octal preamp tubes that are uh, similar to 12AX7s in terms of their function, but they sound, to me, they sound more power tube like. They sound a little bigger than 12AX7s do. So. Um, Basic features of the amp include the um, gain with a gain boost, uh, and you have a tone stack, which is early in the circuit. The tone stack is, um, lets you tailor the, the, it gives you the bass mid treble controls, and you can tailor the sound before it gets overdriven. Um, and I'll explain why that's important in a little bit. And then we have the volume control and a volume boost. The boosts are independently foot switchable, and um, then there's a depth and presence controls. Depth is like presence, but for lower frequencies. So um, let me give you a bit of uh, just sort of moderate gain and uh, show you kind of how that sounds. So that's a little bit, a uh, little bit of gain. Um, if you crank up the gain higher, you get a lot more, a lot more saturation, thusly. And the gain boost on top of that will give you even more, even more overdrive. go with that. All right, so um, I mentioned earlier that the, uh, the tone stack, which is the bass, mid, and treble controls, is early in the, s in the preamp section. The reason for that is that when you're doing a higher gain uh, sound, it's a good idea to take out some of the bass, and that way it doesn't get too muddy when you're, when you're hitting it hard. Uh, and then at the opposite end of the amp in the power section, we have the presence and the depth control. The depth is, brings up the low frequency, so you can add that thump back into the sound after you've taken out the bass going in. Um, for lower gain cleaner stuff, you could just run the bass uh, at a normal setting and, uh, and not worry about the amp farting out so much um, as when it's in a higher, higher setting. So um, let me just talk a little bit about the boost. There's the gain boost, which I showed you, and the volume boost. Um, it's also, like the gain boost, you can adjust it on the front panel. So you can uh, determine the amount of boost you want, a little bit or a lot, and it gives you an actual true boost in volume for solos. So if you're playing, you need to be heard above the band and you don't have a sound guy with a, who's going to move your slider, um, you hit the volume boost and you're, you're louder by however much louder you want to be based on the, the, boost, the volume boost setting. Um, and this amp is, uh, is the Mark II version of amplifier number 10. Uh, amplifier number 10 has been out for a few years now and I've recently given it a revoicing. Uh, re um, I've also improved the effects loop and it's, it's a little bit more modern sounding now. It's, it, the influences are a little bit more of the high, higher gain innovations of the 90s and, and later. Um, the rest of my amps are, are still, it's still in the classic region, classic sort of amp, but uh, my other amps are more, you know, 70s, uh, 80s, 70s, 60s kind of, kind of a thing. So different kind of a vibe for this amp now. Um, the effects loop uh, has a ascend level and return level and is compatible with anything from guitar pedals uh, to any rack gear uh, that you could possibly run, it, run through it. So it has a really good effects loop, which I think is one of the best in the industry. Um, that's it if for the, uh, the 50 water. If you um, have any questions about it, or you want to contact me, you can reach me at bcaudio.com. And the email is bruce at bcaudio.com. Thanks. <laughs>